Water is the most essential life source for all living organisms found on Earth. Without water, no life could possibly exist on Earth. Our planet would be drier than Trump's personality. Water naturally exists in three states. As a solid, water takes the form of ice, which we use as a cooling agent. As a liquid, water takes the form of the colourless, odourless and tasteless liquid we drink. In a gaseous state, water takes the form of vapour, produced in evaporation and boiling of liquid water. In this week's episode of My Chemical Homework, we will be conducting an experiment with water to investigate the effect of how increasing amounts of salt in water will change the boiling point of it, along with what actually happens when water is boiled and the effect the results from this experiment have in our contemporary society. H2O molecules attract through hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonds are electrostatic attractions of polar groups where a hydrogen atom forms a covalent bond with the electronegative atom, such as oxygen. Although they are weaker than ionic and covalent bonds, hydrogen bonds are one of the strongest intermolecular covalent bonds. Water is an example of a polar covalent bond, where the electrons of the two non-metals, oxygen and hydrogen, are unequally shared. Boiling water is a physical change of water from a liquid to a gaseous state. When heat is added to the water, the molecules move rapidly. If enough heat is added, the hydrogen bonds of the water molecules break and will spread out to form a gas, which we call water vapour. These are the bubbles we see when water is boiled at 100 degrees Celsius. Salt is an ionic compound of sodium and chlorine. When salt crystals are added to water, the polarity of water means that the oxygen atoms possess a slight negative charge, thus attracting to the positive sodium ions, whereas hydrogen with its slight positive charge attracts the negative chlorine ions. This attraction separates the sodium chloride 3D lattice structure, thus dissolving the salt crystals into the water. Firstly, set up the experiment as seen here. Fill one beaker with 200 milliliters of water and place it on the gauze mat. Light the Bunsen burner and position it directly under the beaker. Remember to wear safety goggles whilst the water is boiling to reduce the risk of boiling water splashing and irritating the eye. When bubbles begin to appear, record the temperature in a table and turn off the gas. Whilst the beaker is cooling, fill another beaker with 200 milliliters of water and add 2.5 grams of salt into the beaker, stirring until the solute is completely dissolved. Carefully remove the hot beaker with the heat resistant material and replace it with a beaker of salt solution. Repeat this process for three more beakers, adding 5 grams into the third beaker, 7.5 grams into the fourth beaker, and 10 grams into the last beaker. From these results, it is clear that as the concentration of salt is increased, the boiling point of the water also increases, a process called boiling point elevation. Boiling point elevation refers to the scientific process of a solvent's boiling point increasing as a solute is added. From this, it is known that a solution possesses a higher boiling point than a pure solvent such as water. When salt is added to water, the vapour pressure of the salt at which a liquid's evaporation rate is indicated is less than that of the pure solvent. So when the solution is boiled, the temperature needs to be increased in order for the vapour pressure to equal the external pressure of the water's boiling point. Boiling point elevation has a magnitude of effects that are implicated into society. The most prominent uses of this scientific process involve sugar refining and cooking. In cooking, boiling point elevation is used to increase the boiling point of water, as adding salt makes the water hotter than the normal boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius. By increasing the boiling point of water whilst cooking pasta, the higher temperature will essentially mean the pasta will cook better. Although it increases the boiling point, adding salt to water does not make the water boil faster, as the solution takes longer to reach its higher boiling point. Sugar refining uses boil point elevation in the process of sugar crystallization. When a sugar cane crop is harvested, the juice from the canes are extracted to be converted into raw sugar, however they must be refined before consumption. During the refining process, the juice from the sugar cane is boiled, however the temperature at which the syrup boils is dependent on the concentration of sugar. The more sugar in the syrup, the higher the boiling point temperature, and allows for easy monitoring of the sugar purification and supersaturation. 